Okay, so we're looking at question nine of the 2018 Further Maths Exam 2 from the NHT one. Um, so this is in um, financial maths and uh, in business maths. So in this case, um, Andrew's going to join Rosalind and Richard on the holiday, so it's following on from question eight. He's borrowed 10 grand, so if you remember, that's, that means that this is going to be your V0, because um, that's the initial he's borrowed, pay for the holiday and for other expenses. Interest on the loan is charged at a rate of 12.9% per annum. Um, so that's your R, your R per, per year, compounding monthly. So that's 12 payment periods, okay? Immediately after interest has been calculated and charged each month, he will make a repayment. So for the first year of his loan, Andrew's gonna make interest only repayment. So just enough, enough to cover the interest. So what is the value of each, each interest only payment? So basically when you do this, you're, you're basically doing simple interest. Okay, so using a simple interest formula, all right, now we've got our V0, our V0 is um, 10,000, we're multiplying it by 12.9 because that's our interest. Now our N is not a year, it's a month, and so that's going to be 1 over 12 because it's one month out of a year. So we're going to divide that by 100, and what we're going to get as an answer is 107 and 50 cents per month, okay? So that's question A. So for the next three years of his loan, Andrew's gonna make, will make equally uh, monthly repayments. Um, after these three years, the balance of his loan will, will be um, $3,760. $76.15. So what we're looking for is, um, during these three years, how much is he gonna repay per month? So there's a couple of things we need to keep in mind here. All right, the FV, so the final V, so we're gonna be using um, Finance Solver, and I'll bring something up in a, in a moment. But we're not paying, in this case, we're not paying off the loan. Because we're not paying off the loan, that means, um, so I was gonna put here FV, we're still going to owe some money, all right? And I'll show you what that means in terms of finance over in a moment. Something else we're gonna be doing is, you have to keep in mind, he's starting off, you know, first year he just paid interest only, and then he started paying off after the first year. But what that means is, after the first year, he still owes $10,000, okay? Because he's only paid the interest off. So what we can see, I've put the finance solver thing here. And so what we've got is um, in N, in N I've put 36 because that's three years. Oops, three years. Um, and it's monthly repayments. Okay. And that's chorus, that corresponds to there. That's your um, payments per year. We've put our interest rate 12.9 to 10,000. Remember, that's because um, in, uh, in part A, he's only paying interest off, so he still still owes $10,000, okay? So what we need to calculate here, and so the point when I was making it, um, the final value still owes, that means that number there is that here, and I have to put, because it's finance over, I need to put the negative, okay? Um, so that means I can calculate, so I put that into my calculator and what I end up getting is this value here. So that's saying our payments are $250 because remember the minus indicates that you, you know, it's coming, coming from your bank, so you're paying it. So that means the pay, payments per month is $250 per month. All right, that's what your payments will be, because that's what that's what this was asking you to calculate. All right. So in this case, next question, um, he's going to fully repay the outstanding balance of um, that three thousand seven hundred sixty seventy six and fifteen with a further twelve monthly, oops, um, payments repayments. For the first eleven will be oops. I don't like it when things show up that I don't want to show up. Um, sorry. 
Um, the 12th re repayment will have a different value to ensure that the loan is repaid exactly to the nearest cent. What is the value of the repayment? Grand your answer to the nearest cent. Now, the way I'm going to show here is to do, I'm actually going to bring in, oh, I didn't mean to do it like that. And I'm not going to restart this video. So I'm just going to bring this in here, make it a little bit smaller, of course. Okay. So this is what you'd put in the finance over and we'll go through that. So 12, okay. Cause we're told there's 12, um, further payments. So that's where I put the 12 here. Okay. Interest rate. We're told that, um, our primary value, because this has now become our like our V zero. So that's our primary value. That's why it's 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 um it's not negative. We're told our payments are three hundred and thirty, and remember we've got the minus because it's coming out. Okay. And so what happens when you do that is you get an answer of minus ninety point four. So that means after twelve payments, okay. So after 12 pay payments of $330, um, you st uh, what's your name, Andrew, still owes $90.40. So basically what he needs to do here is it's a total repayment that tw therefore 12th um also i won't know it right it's a 12th i'm going to say so that final that final repayment will be 330 oops 330 plus $90.40 which is which is going to be 420 and 40 cents okay so that'll give you the answer to um, that, that question so C and that is question 9 completed thank you